Hello little ones, welcome back to Grandma's Storytime channel. Tonight we are going to read together Disney's Winnie the Pooh Friendship Day. Lessons from the Hundred Acre Wood Friendship equals caring in very special ways, for friends are always there, not just on Friendship Days. Everybody in the Hundred Acre Wood was getting ready for Friendship Day. There was going to be a great celebration with lots of games, food and fun for all. Piglet visited Pooh and helped him fill some honey pots. Pooh felt so happy he hummed a little tune. Honey in my tummy, it's yummy, yum, yummy. What are you going to do with these honey pots? asked Piglet. I'm giving them out on Friendship Day, Pooh replied, because good friends are as sweet as honey. Soon Pooh and Piglet took a walk through the woods and found Christopher Robin hard at work. What are you making, Christopher Robin? asked Pooh. Hats to wear on Friendship Day, he replied. Pooh tried uh, on a hat for Christopher Robin, who made one last little snip and tuck. I can't wait to wear my hat on Friendship Day, Pooh replied. Soon the friends said goodbye and Pooh and Piglet went to Owl's house. Owl was busy picking out a story about friendship. Which one do you think I should read? Owl asked, pointing to a tall stack of books. Perhaps you should read them all, said Pooh. That's a splendid idea, Owl cried. Simply splendid! Next, Pooh and Piglet passed by Rue's house. Friends can be new, friends can be old. But all of them are as precious as gold, sang Rue. Pooh and Piglet called, Hello! through the window. Rue came running outside. Mama was just teaching me a song for Friendship Day, he explained. I know what we're all doing for Friendship Day, said Piglet, but I wonder about Rabbit. Let's go see, Pooh suggested. When the three friends got to Rabbit's house, they ooed and ahed and a wonderful smell swirling through his kitchen. It's my secret recipe for friendship stew, Rabbit said. What's in it? asked Roo. Well, uh, if I tell you, then it wouldn't be my secret recipe anymore, Rabbit explained. What are you doing for friendship day, Piglet? asked Rabbit, changing the subject. I'm baking my friendliest acorn cookies, Piglet replied. Pooh, Piglet and Roo said goodbye to Rabbit and continued on their way. Soon they ran into Tigger. Ho, 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 called Tigger. I'm practicing for the Friendship Day Bouncing Contest. Tigger stopped just long enough to give Piglet, Pooh and Roo each a good bounce. Boing, boing, boing! Yippee! Tigger cried. Bouncing is what Tiggers do best. See you later, buddy boys! Next, the three friends visited Eeyore in his thistle patch. What are you doing for Friendship Day? Roo asked Eeyore. Still trying to think of something, Eeyore replied. 
You could lend us your tail for our relay race, said Roo. Or use your tail to pull our friendship wagon, Piglet peeped up. I would, replied Eeyore, but it seemed to have lost it again. We hope you think of something soon, Roo said. But if you don't, please come anyway, added Piglet. It wouldn't be friendship day without you, said Pooh. When friendship day arrived, Christopher Robin hurried over to Pooh's house carrying his hats. He bumped right into Eeyore. Why don't you come with me? Christopher Robin asked. I'm not going to friendship day, Eeyore replied. Why not? asked Christopher Robin. Couldn't find anything friendly to do, he shrugged. A friend doesn't have to do anything except let others know he cares, Robin, Christopher Robin explained. Why, I'd say you're a prize-winning friend. I always thought my friends were sort of prize-winning, said Eeyore. Suddenly, Eeyore had a wonderful idea. First, he asked Christopher Robin for a ro long roll of ribbon. Then, the two friends made everyone in the Hundred Acre Wood their very own award. Later that day, Eeyore showed up carrying a large sack on his back. When it was time, Christopher Robin announced that Eeyore had something special to share with all his friends. Eeyore shyly handed out the ribbons one at a time. I say, Eeyore, Owl announced, this is one of the best Friendship Day gifts a friend could ever receive. Let the celebration begin, Christopher Robin cried. And so the group had a wonderful time sharing their gifts and singing their songs. But the best part of Friendship Day was that all of the friends could be together. Caring is what friendship is all about. The end. And if you see the phone and the uh, moving and bouncing back and forth, it's because my grandson Noah is here and he is right sitting next to me and bumps into the table where I have set up my video. Have a good night. Sweet dreams, everyone.